A very big welcome to my friend, Jane Wenham Jones. She's journalist, presenter, interviewer, oh, and not an insignificant author of both fiction and non-fiction about writers and writing. And I have to admit to a personal bias here and that whenever I'm being asked to do, be interviewed on stage by anyone, when Jane's doing it, I have a big smile on my face. Marry somebody rich. That's always a difficult one. Um, I, I do feel fond of my book, Want to Be a Writer, because so many people wrote and told me that it had really helped them. But out of the novels, I love One Glass is Never Enough, I think, because it was sort of based on a lot of stuff that I did. Well, in theory, I write every day um, in my writing room. In practice, I spend a lot of time tidying the airing cupboard, running up and down stairs, stopping the cat biting my feet. Um, but in theory, I have a writing room and, and I get to it in there. I just think all books that I've read have inspired me. I mean, I was a really voracious reader as a child and, um, you know, I diet of Enid Blyton actually in those days, but I think every book gives you something. Too much white wine. No, I really wanted to just have a private income and not have to do very much at all. But I always liked writing, so um, I suppose it was sort of inevitable that I'd end up trying to make money out of it one day. With a lot of sort of sweat and tears, really. These days, I try and plan it much more than I used to because I've just discovered it's easier. So I try and have a sort of route map. I know the beginning, the middle and the end, but not necessarily how I'll get from one to the other. Oh, in the old days, yes, I've cried buckets over um, work I used to lose. In the old days when there weren't proper backups and I ended up paranoid. It was on every single, um, you know, memory stick you could think of, emailed it to myself, etc. But nowadays, you know, it's all backed up hourly and everybody can relax a bit. I just want them to have a nice time reading it, I suppose. I'd like them to put it down and say, oh, that was OK. Please read Mum in the Middle because it's um, a portrayal of women of my sort of age and how we are now the squeezed generation. In the old days, we'd have had our feet up, our slippers on, and we'd be, you know, wearing a nylon pinny and polishing the teapot. Now, women in their 50s have got the kids still around them, the adult kids still need supporting. The parents are perhaps falling apart and needing looking after because nobody dies anymore, do they? And you're, in the meantime, you're still trying to keep up your jobs and your social media and goodness knows what else so I'm hoping that you'll enjoy it because it speaks to you but that doesn't mean that you won't enjoy it if you're 30 or 90 as well mum in the middle the squeeze generation that was the amazing Jane Wenham Jones stay tuned for more